Hello. Yes, it's jolly good to see you again. Yes, please do come in and make yourself comfortable. You should be familiar with the place by now, yes. So, as I understand it, you are here for an eye exam, right? Yes. Do you find that things are a little bit blurry for you? Mm -hmm. Can't see your features too well in a mirror? Mm, yes, don't worry. Like your hearing, poor and ineffective eyesight happens to the best of us, and it can be quite simply corrected with a pair of spectacles. Ah, oh, well, you shouldn't pay too much attention to what you read in Health, Beauty and the Toilet column in Bow Bells. Yes, I did read it. How did it go again? Why do we see so many people wearing glasses nowadays when it just wasn't the case 20 years ago? <laughs> now, what these uncultured individuals don't understand is that society has changed dramatically in the last 20 years. Developments in ophthalmology, changing environments, increased reading for leisure and education, all of these things put such a jolly strain on the eye that we just weren't aware of before. And quite frankly, things have changed and continue to change as each year goes by. Why, we don't live in castles anymore, do we, when once upon a time we used to. So yes, I wouldn't pay too much attention to what you read in Bow Bells. I mean, also, just to chew your ear for a moment, we know more about physiology, anatomy, and diseases of the eye than what we did before, and we can greatly improve one's life with just a pair of spectacles. So, to deny oneself such a such a simple device for reasons of embarrassment or social acceptance is just truly, truly baffling to me. But there we are. And did you know that Robert Brudenell Carter's eyesight in schools is actually championing compulsory eyesight for children in education and occupations where imperfect vision could impinge on a person's personal or third party safety. Imagine how furious you would be if you were to become injured due to someone's poor eyesight. Yes, so eyesight is jolly important, and if you need spectacles, then we shall prescribe them. And it is just a very simple test, one that some of them you may be familiar with from our other visits, yes. So we just do a very simple and painless test, and you can have your eyesight to its former glory in no time. What was that? Oh, no, no, no. We do not use such barbaric methods such as bloodletting or purging to correct eyesight. Uh, no, no, no. We use the highest quality and most modern testing methods. 
as well as the highest quality glass for your prescription for your spectacles. So there are no need for those barbaric methods. We actually use sight tests that have been developed by J.D. Browning, his book called Our Eyes and How to Preserve Them from infamous Infancy to Old Age. And some of these tests, which I will be performing on you today, can actually be done in the home. So quite a cute little parlour trick that you can entertain your guests with, maybe during Christmas time, yes? However, I strongly, strongly encourage you to come to a trained professional such as myself for all your eye troubles and concerns, as I am the only one qualified to prescribe you spectacles. But anyway, enough of me blabbering on, I do love to chat. We will start with some very simple questions to start with, yes, just to keep everything proper. Now some of these questions you may have been asked before, so I do apologise in advance, but each examination is tested individually. I'm starting to see a medical profile of you, which of course I will take into consideration, for example, your occupation, which you told me before, um, your family history, etc, etc. But specifically for eye tests, I need to ask you, do you have or have you experienced any pain of the head or eyes? Well, um, recently, yes, but oh, within the last year, I would say. Okay. I see. Probably alcohol-induced, yes. I won't take that into consideration. Any pain um, of the eyes specifically? Right, and was that uh, during a specific activity, such as reading signs, you can read, right? Yes, of course, I apologise. So when you are reading, for example, yes. And what kind, how would you describe the pain? Is it more sharp and direct or more dull throb ache? Okay. And can you see up close very well, or can you see far away very well? I see, okay. And do any of your family or relatives wear spectacles currently? Okay. And are any of your blood relatives blind? Okay. Is that on your mother or father's side? Maternal. Okay. Wonderful. Not too difficult, right? Okay. So now, if I can draw your attention to the chart over here, what I would like you to do is read down as far as you can. Good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, I want you to cover one eye and again read down as far as you can. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very good. Now cover the other eye and repeat the whole process again. What can you read this time? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. 
All right, perfect. You can relax. Very good. Let me jot down some notes here. Okay. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now if I can draw your attention to the second chart. I want you to, again, read down as far as you can. Mm -hmm. Good. Now cover one eye and read down as far as you can. Mm -hmm. Good. Now cover the other eye. Read down as far as you can. Good. Good. Wonderful. Okay. Let's write some notes here. Okay. Wonderful. So, now is a test which you might be familiar with. I want you to focus on my face, but don't move your head. And I want you to tell me when my finger is wiggling. <laughs> yes, you are very familiar with this one. So, here we go. Good. Good. Yes. Good. 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 Now, cover one eye. And we're going to do that again. Good. 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 Very good. And the other side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's write some notes here. All right. Wonderful. So, I'd like to take a closer look at your eyes now. Keep your head straight and your eyes facing me at all times. Remember from last time, your eyes do seem a little cloudy, but I imagine that's something to do with the drink. Mm -hmm. Look up for me, and look down, look side to side. Just look straight at me. Yes. Now look up. Now look down. Now look from side to side. Good. Look up. Okay, good. Let me make some notes here. Wonderful. Okay. So now I would like you to follow my solitary wick. There were three here at one point, but it seems the candle has melted into 
just follow the light. Good. Very good. Okay. Yes, let me come a little bit closer to you to shine this light. Are you there? Mm -hmm. you to follow the tip of my pencil. Keep your head straight, looking directly at me, and just follow the tip. Good. Yes, once more. Like lazy eye, hmm. but that's not a problem. Right, jolly good. All the boring tests are done. So now I want to draw your attention to this little device. It is a pegboard of my own crafting, and as you can see, it displays various colours that I would like you to identify. Now, if you can tell me what colours do you see on the top row here? I want you to identify each one in turn. So, this one this one, yes. This one, yes. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. And the second row, I'm just going to point, and if you can just tell me what colour you see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. The third row. This one, yes. This one, yes. This one, yes. This one, yes. And the last row. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm jolly good. You did very well. To be testing your prescription now. So, if I place this lens in front of your eye, can you tell me if it is better or worse? Can you see the text better or worse? Better or worse? Okay. 
think one more lens should do it. What about this? Is this better? Or is it worse? Is this better? Or is this worse? And now let's move on to the second chart while I have you here. So the first lens, is this better or worse? Better or worse? Okay. Second lens, is this better or is this worse? this better or is this worse? Okay, and the third and final one. Is this better or worse? Better, better or worse? Right, yes. Okay, you can relax. what I have found today. It is as expected. You do need spectacles. Now, our spectacles that we make here have two primary purposes in mind. Correction and protection. So we have a variety of different uh, shapes and models for various different situations. We have protective spectacles with coloured lenses, like so, to help with any harsh light, such as the sun or maybe lamp light, if you have gas lamps in your home. And we also have spectacles that are designed for quite um, chaotic environments, such as work environments with flying foreign objects. Yes. And of course, each of our spectacles can be tailor-made to your own individual tastes and preferences. For example, we have a variety of different frame materials. For example, these ones are gold, but we can also do tortoiseshell, silver, or just plain old steel, depending on your budget, of course. So, I have couple of examples here which I would like to show you. So for instance, if you see these ones here, they are jolly thick, they have a protective um, outer edge, and these are more suitable for driving automobiles, possibly riding horses, something that is at high speed, so you can protect all areas of your eyes, the side, the front, so just in case any stray gravel or dirt flicks up from the road, you can be protected. The second pair, as you can see here, are quite similar, however, they are more for uh, formal. Um, more event uh, type of glasses. As you can see, they are more ornate and decorative. And again, they have the side flaps here, which protect your eyes from all different angles. We have these standard spectacles here with the very thin wires that hook 
around your ears and these are perfect for every day the glass is more oval than round which flatters more shaped faces and this sits on the bridge of your nose you may attach it to a chain using this hoop here so you don't lose them say in a heavy wind <laughs> for instance and these are very very user friendly as they just pop on your nose there are no fiddly wires to contend with and they are discreet and quite fashionable next you have a similar pair but they are more sturdy with the arms that go on to your ears and these are more designed for more vigorous activity in the day and they are sure to stay on your head as they are more robust again you see the frames are more oval which again suit more shaped faces this last pair are similar to the last but the frames are more circular which is coming into fashion more I feel and the arms are quite simple they're not as elaborate as the last option and these are more subtle and understated glasses which again would be perfect for every one of these spectacles do you think would be right for you, your occupation, your lifestyle? What sort would you like to go for? Well yes, I think these two are quite redundant, especially if you're if you uh, don't own an automobile or go on long horse rides. And these are more upper class, I would say. This, I would imagine you would lose, if I'm being perfectly honest. So I think it is a combination between these two. And I think, based on your face shape, I'm going to go with these. Now, you may wish to have some coloured lens put in like my examples here and to be quite fair these are quite similar to the ones that you have chosen so if it's all right by you I'm going to actually test these on you these are a just a prototype so I want to see how these look and fit on your face and this will give me a good idea as to what adjustments need to be made so here we go let's have a look here okay so I think that looks jolly good I would say they need to be a fraction wider and possibly a fraction on the bridge just there but I think overall it looks jolly splendid now how do you feel about the tint? right, okay, I will make a note so let's move these out of the way so, prototype, I would say possibly quarter inch, quarter inch wider, and okay, yes, 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 no corrective. Right, so I 
have that all written down. So I expect that these will be made for you in the next few weeks and you may come and collect them at that time. Then once you are here, we'll just do a final fit and I can make and tweak the adjustments based on um, your own personal preference. Okay. So, yes, it's been jolly lovely to see you again. Now, I know that you will be coming to see me again soon for some of my other uh, volunteering work, yes. Um, so I can apply a discount to your glasses because of your services to my professional development. Oh, no, 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 that's no trouble whatsoever. You are doing me a great service being my test subject. I mean, volunteer. <laughs> so I will see you in a few weeks' time to fit your spectacles. But until then, please do take care. And I will see you then. Cheerio.